already. You called the police? Because I asked for soy milk? Are you no, serious? because you're recording right now. You came out here to fight with me. I just And this next male Karen is filmed blocking the doorway off an apartment complex so that another man cannot enter. The man filming politely requests that he gets out of his way so that he can go visit his friend, but this male Karen refuses to do so. He says that unless the man filming identifies himself immediately, then he won't be moving. Obviously frustrating, the man filming starts to argue with this male Karen as he tells him that he does not have to identify himself to him as he has absolutely no authority. Let's check it out. Recorded. Let's call the police. I'll call the police. Dude. I'm gonna call them right now. Do it. Identify I'm, yourself. It please. doesn't matter. Please identify yourself. If you you want, can please identify yourself. I don't have to identify yes, you do, because no, if I you're don't. stepping into this building, you absolutely Are you have you're to, not the gatekeeper of this building? I live here. It doesn't matter. It I'm does. here visiting. Then you identify yourself. No, you, they call the police. Like this is really please weird. Leave. Uh, please stand outside. I'm not going to. Please stand outside of the Dude, door. Dude, I don't have to. you you are in my way. You have no right to be here. I, you have no right to tell me that. Absolutely, I do. No, you don't. I'm here to make sure the building is... Hi, there's a John, this is your home. Here. He's calling the police hey, on me. John, your, your, your buddy here, I asked I don't have to identify visit. myself to this gentleman. Please let, please, please let him know that if he comes in here to let people know who he's visiting. Thank you. Thank you. Dude. Don't do that. No, no, Dude, I can't God, wait God, to make God. this video go viral. God, God. Yeah, that's... that's and coming up next, we jump right into the middle of some crazy heated drama in the middle of a busy gas station. A whacked out woman has just been caught stealing and now the employees have locked the doors on the woman and called the police. The crazy woman is now in panic mode and is film racing all around the store while aggressively getting into the face of the gas station employees as she demands that they open the doors for her. Let's play the clip and take a look at this wild public freak out. Y'all are dumb motherfuckers. You was in here stealing. We want the Stealing. Yeah, you was. You come up to me, I'll beat your ass, bitch. You was a dumb bitch. That's why you do can't get out. Do it again. 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 Line back of that hoe. I back. Line back of that hoe. Caught your dumb. <laughs> no, you dumb. <laughs> you <laughs> You <laughs> mad as. <laughs> okay, why did steal? They got no goddamn proof. They got no proof. I had to put in my pockets out of the room. <laughs> Yeah, and up next, we jump into the middle of a heated altercation between two customers in the middle of a store. The woman filming sticks her phone into the face of another customer in the store as she calls him out for allegedly having a fake service dog. She says that not only is his service dog not wearing appropriate gear, but she also claims that he does not know the laws. The man goes on to call her crazy and tells her that his service dog is real, but the woman refuses to believe it. The store employee eventually steps in to try and calm both parties down, but doesn't seem to have any luck. The situation proceeds to escalate and the police are eventually called. Let's take a look at this clip. All you have to have is a prescription from a doctor. Yeah, and I've gone to a doctor. I was blown up in a fire. Right now. Okay, yeah. and? I have a medical condition that allows me to have my dog. But it's not trained. That's where I'm getting it. You see my remarks? Stop. You were asked to leave. Please. I'm not leaving. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I am not harassing him. He has an illegal animal in this store. And you guys are letting it happen. Notice how the dog is sniffing everywhere. So f illegal. Yeah, but if I have a medical episode due to his animal, he could go to jail. If I have a medical episode and it's due to his dog, then he could go to jail. All you have to do is wait outside like we asked. No, I'm not going to wait outside. Do you know how demeaning that is towards animals? Oh, am I weird? Because his dog barked at mine. Do you know how illegal that is? And finally tonight, we jump into some drama at a dog park. The woman being filmed claims that the man's dog had humped her dog and now she is furious. She immediately jumps into Karen mode and dials 911 to have the man arrested. While the woman is on the phone doing that, the man filming goes on a rant about how ridiculous the whole situation is and calls the woman out for being crazy. He says that what has happened is completely natural and says that he sees it happen every day at the dog park, but the woman refuses to take in anything that the man is telling her. Let's play the clip and see how this insane situation comes to an end. 
know. Why are you calling Hi. the cops right now? Hi. Because I told you I wasn't leaving the park because my dog was humping your dog. Right I'm not verbally assaulting you. I told you I'm not leaving. The Attleboro Dog Park. That's inappropriate for the dog park. No, it's not. I know it's the dog humping each other. And she's calling the okay. cops yep. because yeah. my dog humped her dog. Every dog. I've seen every single dog hump another dog here. And she tells me to leave, and now she's calling the cops. Like, are you serious? Yeah, they will. They'll, they'll Yo, I can't wait. Yo, this is crazy. Cause this, you heard of barbecue, Becky? Cause this is the newest one, right here. Let me get her plate. Let's see, so everybody know who this woman is. We can look this woman up. No, you Three Z N nine nine six. Honestly. Honestly. I'm just trying to tell you. You're not trying to help me. No, you're not trying to help me. I know the rules. You're not I, obeying the, the, the dogs, rules. I'm obeying the rules. What yes, are you talking about? I'm right here. You can't allow your dog aggressively on top of another the dog. The dogs hump each other every day, and I took him off. The, I took him opinion. off. I know That's it's my opinion, but you don't call the cops over it. That's, That's all I'm saying. Just and that is all we have time for tonight, guys, on this episode of Public Freak Out Videos. If you enjoyed tonight's episode, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe with notifications on. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Hey, what's going on everyone, and welcome back to another brand new episode of Public Freak Out Videos. Tonight on this action-packed episode, we'll be taking a look at some more crazy and entitled Karens who are caught on camera freaking out in public. We have a lot of great clips to get through tonight, so make sure to slap a like on this video, and let's jump right into it. And up first tonight is a video of a woman smacking a phone from a young girl's hands after they found themselves in the middle of a disagreement. The girl who is standing there with the other young girls tells the woman that they have everything on recording and will be contacting the authorities. Let's take a look. Your business. Oh! Oh, I just got that on video, girly. I've never swung at anyone here, and I've been here so many times, and I've never even considered touching someone. You smacked my phone, girly. Well, you're, you're recording me. Oh my god, maybe don't record patients without their consent if you don't like it. Or leave. leave. What would Jesus do? Would Jesus smack my phone out of my hand? I don't think so. Yeah. And next up is a video of a crazy Karen who is on a bus and she thinks that she had overheard somebody call her an offensive name. When confronted by some of the passengers, she started to act like a child by making faces and screaming at the top of her lungs. The crazy woman almost gets into a fight with one of the passengers as they try to get her off the bus. Karen does not make that easy for them though and she continues to insult them. Let's take a look at this crazy clip. Uh, Excuse me? You call me a pro- I wasn't even talking to you. Are you alright? What the f are you looking at? Hey, listen. Listen, respect yourself. There's kids on this bus. Alright? No! Stop your mouth! My kids are on the bus! And that's what you call a crazy and coming up next, we jump into the middle of a massive shouting match between multiple neighbors in a usually quiet apartment complex. Now, this whacked out Karen had actually started screaming at her neighbors after they had called her out for being disruptive. Because of this, the crazy whacked out lady starts to freak out on them, leading to a massive altercation. Ain't none of y'all son of a bitch got nothing on me. Fuck you. I am who I am and I stay 
gonna judge me because I ain't one color on the next. I know where my people come from. I know where each and every one of them come from. <laughs> After feeling like her partner may be out cheating on her with another woman, this next lady tracks down her man to get to the bottom of it. She manages to locate him and finds him at a Walmart and actually catches him with another woman. Because of this, the couple are quick to get into a heated argument with one another, which causes a massive scene inside of the busy Walmart store. Let's play the clip from the very beginning and see how this insane situation came to be. And this next woman is in the middle of working out at the gym when she is approached and confronted by the gym's local Karen. Now Karen is actually upset that the woman is using the equipment that she wants to be using. The woman tells this Karen that there is more of the same equipment on the other side of the gym, but Karen is not satisfied because she wants the equipment that this woman is using. Let's take a look. Do you see the 20? Yeah. Do you see those other dumbbells? Honey. Okay, cool. Are you serious? There's an entire gym. Like, use the entire gym. Yeah, but okay. nobody here is using the 27 Okay, hey, nobody here was in this area until you walked wow. in. Wow. Wow is right. You know, I can go complain Go right complain. Now. Okay. Go for it. Because I'm using one dumbbell. And he's going to come and tell you to use it for me. <laughs> And coming up next, we feature a video of a man who just caught two people stealing an Amazon package right from his doorstep. After being confronted and questioned by the man, the pair of thieves are filmed trying to lie their way out of the awkward situation. The two men go on to say that someone had told them to drive over to his address and take the packages from his porch. Left even more confused, the man behind the camera continues to question the two men, making for a very frustrating situation. Let's check it out. Somebody said to take this box off of that porch. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm here and there's a guy telling me that why take a box off my porch. Okay, what's your name? No, what's your name? My name is... What's in what? I'm asking you... Wait, wait, you were taking a box off of my porch and you, and you don't want to give me your name. I told you I'm... No, I'm I want name, your full you name. Like I want your... Then what? I mean, I'm you, well, I'm, I'm, here, I'm suspicious like, that you're... You're suspicious? Somebody sent me here to collect their box. You're telling me that. I don't know this. You don't trust me. A guy with a $22,000 oh, car. Pro and probably we in the wrong I, house. I don't know if this car costs $5. Probably I don't know anything about a car. In the wrong house. You know what I'm Why would you take a box that's addressed to that person that's on that porch, probably, off of that porch? Probably. It's not coming from that porch. Yeah, no, no, no. I understand that. He said, go to this address. There's a box over there. Pick it up for me. That's what he told me. Yes, this guy here, this guy here took the box off of our porch and he's got a car full of other boxes. Yeah, these are my boxes. These They're your boxes. Of course. Why are they your boxes? Like, you know what? I'm going to go get Freddy and I'll be back. I'll yeah, you're going to get Freddy. You're going to get Freddy. Great. And coming up next is a video of a woman who is following a Karen who is threatening to call the police on her children who is simply just having a fun time playing with each other at a McDonald's restaurant. Karen is filmed telling the mother that her children should not be so loud and begins to get aggressive with her. The two are then quick to find themselves in the middle of a screaming match, causing a massive scene outside. A random passerby overhears all of the commotion that is happening between the pair and comes over to try and de-escalate the situation. Let's play the clip and take a look at how the this frustrating situation comes to an end. You're gonna do what then? You're gonna do what? You're gonna call the cops on my kids for playing in a McDonald's? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. It is playing. They're playing in a kid's area. Just because you're middle-aged and have no kids and no family doesn't mean 
You're screaming in the bathroom. I can hear they're you kids. in the they're bathroom. They're playing. Hey, Lower hey, it. Hey, hey. Lower it down. No, they're hey. kids. They don't have the Leave. right to take over the whole restaurant. They do. They're no, kids. They Get out. It's not okay. It is okay. It's not okay for kids to scream so loud that the people on the complete other side of the restaurant cannot They're happy. Cannot Why are you themselves? upset that kids are happy? That's not it. Yeah, that is it. No, but I'm just trying to enjoy the restaurant too. I understand. No, I, I don't. I'm not sure you I'm not do. Say, I'm not saying both sides, any, any side is right. But don't you think the restaurant's for everyone? I do. I do. So I should You're trying to make it just for you. You're trying to make it just for you and dictating what everyone else has everyone. to do. Everyone. I'm trying to make it for everyone. But I'm leaving so your kids can be happy. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye-bye then. Next up, we jump right into the middle of a heated altercation between a fast food worker and an entitled male Karen. Our video features a man who is filmed blowing up at a fast food restaurant worker because he cannot get what he wants. Because of this, the male Karen starts to lash out and begins to scream at the young worker. His voice gets louder and louder when the young employee does not give in to this man's entitlement. Let's take a look at this clip. Well, they just give me the tenders then. Take my credit card then. You have two choices. 